J. This is your old pal, Majerian here. Welcome to Fan Mail Money number 63. Guys, I am back in my room, on the couch, in that familiar spot. And you know what? It's I, I, I just have to really look on the bright side. That's, I'm comfortable here. This is good. Last last time I did fan mail, I know it's been kind of a week and a half now, but it was at the new house. I did, fuck, the lighting was pretty good there, I remember. It was. It was. Shit. But you know what, guys? This is totally fine. You, you guys gave me a lot of mail this week. It's crazy. Um, I don't even know if I would have had enough room in the house for all this. But here I do. Well, actually, I don't know. That fan mail room is really uh, piling up in there. But all right, Jays, let's get right into it. There's this huge box right here. Really could use a pick me up right now. Oh my god. Can you imagine somebody sent me a fucking bat? <laughs> Check it out, Jays. I actually forgot I had this. Uh, it was in my jacket from working on the house. This thing is huge. Before I had to lift this one, I can't even lift it. It says, hey, Jesse, you owe me, lol. But, anyways, here's a housewarming gift. Text me, please. Damn. Well. Uh, this is unfortunate. There's no house to warm right now. Um, hold on, let me get this out of the box. What the hell even is this? Cut right through that Amazon ribbon. We're on earth. Damn. Shit. It's a microwave, Jace. See that? It's a Danby. Fuck, man. You know what I could do with this? I could somehow send this to my mom and get this to her for, for the house. So at least, you know, she can get some use out of it. Because we, we have a microwave here, you know, obviously. But, you know, maybe she could use this. I know she could use this. Damn. Well, thank you. Thank you, Nicholas. I'll be, uh... Getting in touch over Twitter message. Um, thank you for this, though. Seriously. I, I, I don't want you guys to send me this stuff. Do not send me this stuff. I can't repeat it enough. Please don't send me this. I, I, I appreciate it, you know, that, that you care enough to kind of disregard my rules. But if you really care, man, please don't send these types of things. But thank you all the same. Keep it frigid, man. A lot of Amazon boxes. And, guys, if it, it seems like a lot of fan mail, just know it's been a week and a half. So there's been kind of a buildup. This... This looks suspect as shit. Um, this looks like the, our old pillow pet friend. This is a uh, Hot Hugs microwavable hottie. I've never seen this before. It's kind of like a hot pocket, it looks like. A giant hot pocket. So, hi, Jesse. My name is Saskia, or Sas Sas Saskia. I live in the UK. I'm 22 years old, and me and my fiance have bought our first home. The dino is to keep you warm, and I also sent some sweets. Please turn on camera. Please keep brightening people's world. Thank you. Oh, this is actually a nice thing. I guess it is like a giant warmer. Oh, microwave hottie. I get it. So you put him in the microwave, and then you, oh, you microwave his removable tummy. Pop it back inside, and let me give you a warm, soft, relaxing cuddle. Wow. I mean, I can get pretty lonely some nights, so this will probably feel feel nice. Nice and warm. Thank you for this. Keep it frigid. So hi Jesse. I'm Matt from Ontario, Canada. I've been a juggy since Dr. OCD. My favorite video is fishing on the 4th of July. If you ever come to Toronto, we can hang out and I'll show you around. Thought this rack would help. From Matt. Oh, this is actually a uh, hanging sweater shelves uh, where you could put coats, you know, people's belongings uh, when they come over. <sighs> Man. This is actually really fucking depressing. If I had opened my mail, no, even then, it's just been a trying, uh, trying week. But thank you, Matt. Keep it frigid, man. It's just, it's just tough. If I'm, you know, if I'm gonna keep getting housewarming presents and I don't even have a house to live in. But thank you guys, seriously. Hi, Jesse. I know how much you love ramen noodles. I actually just had some late last night. So I got you this. Also, say hi to Corn for me. Follow me on Twitter. Uh, this is from Austin D. from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Austin says, hey, Corn. Hey, Austin. Oh, nice. I get another one. I actually already have one of these. It is a rapid ramen cooker. Um, I still have yet to use it. Uh, maybe I'll give it a shot. Is it as good as it says it is? The cooking apparently reduces sodium by 50%. Fuck out of here. Really? I didn't even notice that. Thank you, man. 
Keep it frigid. I have an unmarked box here. Uh, it says, Hi Jesse, my girlfriend's been a fan of yours since 50,000 subs. She got me watching before Christmas. Hope you like this in the 3D Eagle shelf sent separate, Ben and Gemma. P.S. If you can give an amazing YouTuber a shout out, Repo Nut, help him grow. Repo Nut, interesting name, man. <laughs> Uh, hope, wish you many successes on the YouTubes. Uh, yeah, it's a bald eagle crystal figurine. Wow, that's really nice. Check that out, Jiggies. Glass eagle figurine. Oh, wow, that's pretty cool. Yeah, right? and then a, there's a switch on the back, or the front, depending on how you look at it, and it lights up. But I think it needs some batteries, which I'll be sure to put in there. Thank you guys, keep it frigid. All right, opened up a uh, Master Chief Collection Xbox One box. Inside is something even better than that. Halo Monopoly! Holy shit, I've actually never had this before, and I call myself a fan. You can collect such things as Alpha Halo, Earth, Earth is Boardwalk, that makes sense. Oh my gosh, Cairo Station, dude, this is absolutely sick. And the pieces you play as, you can play as a Ghost, War Hog, Plasma Sword, Master Chief, the helmet himself, this is super awesome. Yeah! Ugh! Oh, I don't know if you guys can see that. It is some gelatinous goop, and it's like technicolored. Oh, it's mad scientist goo. Well, thank you very much for this. I need like latex gloves to handle this. Also, Halo 5 Guardians, which I already... Oh my god, there's more, guys. It's not over. This is a glass figurine. Uh, it's actually got a dragon on the inside of it. That's actually pretty cool. It says, Dear Jesse, I'm sending you this somewhat of a care package because I don't use any of it anymore. I'm giving you Halo 5 because I beat it. Me too, man. I thought the campaign was amazing, but I remember in one of your videos with Georgie, you said you would rather like having a collection to look at than digital. Aw, sorry my sucky handwriting. Then the Halo Monopoly I saw at a GameStop and I could think about was you, so I picked it up for you. Then I tried it once, that's why it's open. Then, why well, the mask is a nerf mask that you could use if you had another nerf war for safety. Then the action figure, because his name is the Ultimate Warrior, and it reminds me of you, because even when your dad destroys your stuff, you overcome it, and that inspires me a lot. Then the goo is because it looks cool and I don't need it. The glass dragon, because I thought you would like it. Finally, the keychain says number one brother, but I was gonna put number one juggy. Then I hope your mom and you can get back to talking, maybe after the house is done, to show her you can fix it up. Well, I mean, we did, man, and I just didn't really expect what was what was hap was gonna happen. And finally, I tweeted at you the phrase, "I'm watching this far in the video, and you never favorited mine." Well, yeah, there's literally like thousands of people that did that. I favored at least 500 people. It was a lot, man, but I'm favoring it now. I like it. Could I get a follow and a shout out uh, at Logan Plays? Well, thank you, man. Um, and I didn't want to get ripped off by GameStop if I turned Halo 5 for cash. That's actually a good call. Well, thank you, man. I really appreciate it. Keep it frigid. Hey, Jesse, I hope you're enjoying the new house. I sent you the costume a couple fa fan mails ago. Oh, he's talking about the Halo costume, except I forgot the letter. Anyways, if you get a dresser in your room, this will come in handy. This is uh, from a kick-ass beast. This is an adjustable folding board. Oh, so it allows you to fold clothing better. I actually probably could use, I could probably use this here, actually. Um, I, I'm, I'm pretty mental when it comes to... Uh, folding clothes, and any type of cleaning. So thank you for this, man. Keep it frigid. Oh, baby. We got a poster. Oh, for the Star Wars The Force Awakens. Very cool, man. Did you see the movie? I really enjoyed it. it says, I love you. I love Jesse Ridgeway. Keep it frigid. Very nice. Is there a longer letter? Looks like there's something in there. There we are. There it is. Dear Jesse, wanted to start off by saying I'm your number one girl juggy fan. I don't know. I don't know. You got some competition there. I started watching your videos one year ago today and have watched all your videos. Your videos are so amazing, I even get emotional, as in crying when something bad happens to you or you're upset. You're my inspiration and favorite YouTuber. Oh, by the way, my name is Farrah uh, from North Carolina. I'm 23, turning 24 in November. I love playing video games, chilling around the house, and watching videos every day. I have a YouTube channel. It's Fire Farrah. Could you give this girl a shout out? There you go. Fire Farrah. Definitely subscribe to her. She only has seven subscribers, but still posting videos and trying to proceed it. Uh, my favorite video game is Left 4 Dead 2. Nice. Did you play the first one at all? That's, that's when we went pro, and um, I liked the first one better than the second one, because I thought the first one had more of a horror element. The second one kind of seemed a little cheesier. Can we play it together sometime? My gamer tag is this. Uh, my Twitter is this. And I really hope you enjoy this gift. And could you please hang it up somewhere in your new house? As a new juggie, that would make me so happy. Show it in a vlog, too. This will not be the last fan mail from me. You're the best. Jesse, you're amazing. P.S. Tell Cornell, Larry, and the rest of the gang I said hello, please. 
Well, thank you, Farrah. Uh, Farrah says, hey, come on. Hey, Farrah. Thank you very much for this letter. Uh, this little I love Jesse Ridgeway piece and Star Wars poster. You know me. I love you. Keep it frigid. That appears to be Emma. Yep. Suffocated her in bubble wrap. All these things, man. All these things. Shit. All these things bring me back to the old house. I, I feel like I can't escape it right now. I especially can't escape your bitch ass. I saw her. I saw her in a video that's going viral right now. For real? Uh, James Corden, late night host, <laughs> with Sia, chandelier, and this is just in the back seat randomly. Uh -huh. They know Emma's everywhere, guys. What? The this. Well, thank you whoever sent this. Keep it frigid. What on earth is going on in this? We have here some uh, little creations, it appears. There's a J. Looks like it's kind of on an egg-shaped... Uh, is this clay? It looks, looks like little sculptures. Um, we have here a cow. Oh, nice. Our old symbol. Oh, it's like a little Angry Birds cow. I think it's from the movie Pixels. Is it Pi Oh, wait. It's Pixel Mate? Pixel Mate? Alright. It's Dear Majorance, I promise. I love your videos. I'm worrying. I'm working my way down to watch all your videos. But I'm having some similar life problems like you, my mom, and dad are almost getting divorced. My brother has gone to jail and my dad almost set my house on fire with me, my mom, and brother in the house. If my brother wasn't there, I'd probably be dead, but my dad's nice. He was just drunk. By the way, your dad's a complete jerk. He could be a nice man if he didn't drink and he got help, but he's still a big jerk. I'm also 10 years old. My name is Madison. I'm a girl. By the way, I think the Jesus picture was moving. Uh, thank you, Madison, for this letter and little care package. I'm sorry to hear about things going on in your life. Um, I, I don't, I, you know, I, I try to understand, but, you know, there's just a lot of things in the world that are bad, and it's just, like, it's hard to really put yourself in somebody else's shoes and understand what they're going through, but just know, I mean, you're not alone. Little details may change, but, you know, there's people suffering out there, um, and I hope uh, things get better. Keep it frigid. This box is huge. I actually struggled to get this into my car and out of my car. I don't know what this is. This might be an already framed poster of some kind, and if it is, that's fucking sick. It says, hi, when watching Pow Wow, I thought of what Uncle Larry is doing, thought you can do the same, help remind you that you're not alone. From a girl, Juggy, age 64, enjoy your gift. From Mary Abe. Oh, is it kind of like a cork board? We're gonna put all kinds of fan stuff on there? That actually be pretty cool. It is! It's a cork bulletin board. And you know what? My Walking Dead poster, for whatever reason, hasn't been hanging up. So maybe this is fate. Maybe this will take the place of the Walking Dead poster and you guys can send me fan images and whatnot. Uh, I'm not sure. All I know is this is a great uh, possibility for some cool fan stuff. Or maybe even just like me coming up with. Uh, Random life plans and could put these on here or you know things Julia have given has given me and pop that on there. Thank you, Mary Abe. Keep it frigid. Some kind of male tampon if your dick leaks blood or something. Oh no, there's some. It is disgusting. Isn't it? There's uh, that's actually some underwear. I can't say I'll wear these. Um, and yeah, I don't. I still don't. It's like a. I guess it's kind of like a diaper. I've shat, I, well no, I've sharded once or twice. This could, this could actually help that phenomenon. Thank you, random person who's concerned about my uh, shitting life. Keep it frigid. All right, time for a large envelope round. Uh, let's get straight into it. We have a little mini Rube Cube. Gotta love those. One of these days I'll learn. Dear Return, it's Jesse. My name's Holly. I'm 11 years old. I watch most of your videos and Corn's videos. Oh, and Uncle Larry's. Lately I've been into your vlogs. Could you please keep on filming 40 minute vlogs? Woo! That's a lot, man. 40 minutes, or, or not man, Holly. <laughs> 40 minute vlogs is a lot, and that's why they end up coming out so late. But I guess you're from Australia, Sydney. I don't know if it's late for you then. It might be right on time. If you want to send me something, here's my address. Thanks, from Holly. Holly, thank you for this. Keep it frigid. Um, I'm going to try my very best to keep up with vlogs and uh, filming my daily life shit, but I kind of want to get into streaming. And uh, that might take the place of the second vlog, so you'll be getting one vlog a day and then streams every day, and you can hang out with me. I don't know about you guys, but I think that sounds like a pretty good deal. So, uh, more on that later, but thank you for the fan mail. And I think you were the one that sent me the root cube. Uh, we have here this awesome Eagles Landing drawing and me, and a letter on the back. It says, Dear Majorians, I hope you enjoyed the drawing I made for you. I love your videos. I wish you the best of luck with the new house. Damn. <sighs> That's... Gosh, 
If I would have known this fan mail, maybe that's it. I, maybe that's why I put it off. Kind of. I just. I didn't. It's all this house-related things. Um, I believe your videos are real. Yes, I hope you enjoy the letter. The Rubik's cube is for you and Corn. I try to solve. Oh, it's from from you, my friend. Um, impossible. Corn has ears, not hands. Ha ha! Got him. That was good. Corn even smiled. Oh wait, he's always smiling. So no no Sorry. satisfaction for you. <laughs> the batteries are for the smoke detector, your camera, or just anything. P.S. Get out of that house. I don't believe in ghosts, but what I know is they will harm you if you make them make them mad. Oh. Um, well, thank you, man. This is from Michael. Thank you, Michael. Keep it frigid. Sorry, Jesse. I got you the container of food, too. I thought you will need this stuff to save money, and I'm your biggest fan, dude. I've been watching for a long-ass time. I'm Pulsar Impact, in case you don't remember me. I do remember you, Pulsar Impact. It's a very memorable name. He sent me these, uh, little fluoride cups, or... Corn! Watching videos, man! So as you watching the camera. It's so messed up. Um, well, thank you, man. Keep it frigid. Better, but we'll hope it was worth it. Soda cap necklace. I think I already have a bracelet. Maybe it's from the same person. Hello, Jesse. My name is Jason. I made a can top chain. I saw you get another one like it. Yeah, but smaller. <laughs> hey! Wow, it's like, you know, we're on the same wavelength right now. I started watching your videos since 100k subs. Also, tell Corn, I said, hey, Corn's busy at the moment. He's on his cellular device. <laughs> Keep it fridge, man. Thank you for this. I'll be a straight ass thug with this shit on. My head wasn't so fucking big. I guess I gotta wear this. Um, lastly, we have, uh, this was resting in a large envelope as well. Hey, Jesse, my name is Kristen. I'm 23 years old and from Jersey. Hey! Uh, one of the few lady juggies. Woo woo! I've been watching your videos since the spring. The first video I watched was Dizzy Songs in Real Life, and I've been hooked ever since. That explains how I got a girl viewer over to my channel. Mm. Thank you for saying that, actually. Before you, I never followed YouTubers before. Congrats. Wow. Now I'm following you, Corn. Hi, Corn. And Uncle Larry. This is also the first time I'm sending fan mail. Sweet. I have to say, as much as I love you, Corn and Uncle Larry, my favorite of all is Garfunkel. I connect with her. <laughs> it is. It is. <laughs> I connect with her on a spiritual level. She's chubby, loves to sleep, and complains when she's disturbed, which is essentially me in a cat's body. I think it's damn near everyone. Plus, she's hella cute and fluffy, which I also am to a lesser degree. You're Harry. Um, one of the big reasons I finally decided to write you is because we have a mutual friend in common. Oh, really? I went to high school with your graphic designer, Chris. Oh, shit! Chris Cruz! Uh, while I haven't seen her much since she graduated, she was a year ahead of me, I am so happy to know that you've been working with her. She's by far one of the funniest people I've ever met. I think it's super cool that she designs things for you. She's a great person. Oh, yes. I absolutely love some of her work. Uh, the banner is sick and some of the shirts, craziness. I work a lot and I look forward to your videos at the end of the day. I'm so proud of you for finally getting out of your house and living on your own. That is just the recurring theme. Christian, it's not your fault. Who would have thought this was going to happen? It's going to take some adjusting. Yes, I, that can apply here. But you're going to get comfortable in Casa de Eagle, a.k.a. Aunt Jackie's other house, in no time. I'm glad to see your mom, McMom or Muggets, is beginning to get back to her old self. And Melissa is poison, and the quicker McMom or Nuggets realizes that, the better, though I understand why your mom has hung around there as long as she has. You're so lucky to have Corn and Uncle Larry by your side through this whole transition. They're great guys. I was just wondering how you and Corn met and how long you've been friends. Me and Corn actually met, um, I believe it was uh, towards the end of middle school, beginning of high school. Um, we had played soccer together as well, I think prior to that. And we had known each other mutually through Xbox Live and uh, actually Mark as well. So that's kind of how it began. So technically, it's been around, I'd say, four, eight, uh, around ten years. So as long as the YouTube channel's been around. So I always tell people, I'm like, I think yeah. it's around ten years. We hit the big ten mark. We should go out and celebrate, have a meal. Um, totally not, you know, no, hashtag no homo. Let me make sure we throw that in there. Um, so there you go. I've loved both of the construction series and getting to watch you guys transform the spaces into wonderful places. I think the places aren't the only thing transforming throughout. If this whole YouTube thing doesn't work out, you guys have a future in home remodeling. <laughs> Just kidding, keep it up with YouTube. Though you really need to get Aunt Jackie's house blessed by a priest or something. Shit's creepy in there. Great comedic delivery there. I really admire you for staying strong and staying you, despite all the hate you get in the comments. I don't understand why people are so cruel, and I don't know how you handle it. Thank you for all the videos and being so good to your fans. I don't care what anyone says. Fan mail, hashtag triple M, and the powers are all great and a ton of fun. Also, I love the videos with Juliet. They're fun. Best of luck at your new home, McDermott. Keep it free to love, Kristen. P.S. I love when you use the term booty cheeks. It cracks me up every time. Well, thank you for that, Kristen. Keep it frigid. This was an awesome letter. And, uh, 
I will remember next time I talk to Chris Cruz that you said hey. Keep it fresh. All right, James, it's time for everybody's favorite part, the lightning speed round. I've chosen around 22 letters at random, but as we've known from previous fan mails, that it's not exactly random. I actually pick a lot of letters and envelopes that have some crazy art to it, some color to it. I also tend to pick things with better handwriting, so if you can't handwrite well, get your mom or dad to do it, or even just type that shit. Let's get right into it. It says, Dear Jizzy Jizzway, I've been watching your videos for a long time. Really like them. They are awesome. P.S. Your girlfriend is super hot, and I saw a video of you jizzing all over your weenie. Then you jizzified sperm all over the toilet. Immediately cuts... Oh, wait. And then he says, go jizz in a toilet, and then had sex with Juliet twice. What the fuck? What is wrong with some people? I have to wonder. Um, I, I don't think, no, that video wasn't up, was it? The one of me jizzing all over myself? I don't think that's on YouTube. There's, I'm, no, I'm almost certain it's not. That's on a different website, so I don't know where the fuck you found that, but you better fucking delete it or some, something. I'm kidding, guys, I, but, uh, I don't know what that letter was. Thank you for kicking us off. My dad killed my spleen. Wow, you guys are just in a really raunchy, uh, fucked up mood right now. Hello, my giants, my name is Marcus, I live in Australia, it's summer here. Uh, please go to 109.4. What? Uh, show your dad f is a dick. I am on excited for you to move out. Uh, that house is haunted. I bet your dad is in Vegas right now. Say hi to Corn for me. Um, your videos are real. I know how to get into the safe. You need a crowbar. We tried that, man. It was a pry bar, pretty much the same thing. If anything, pry bar is smaller and we can better get in there. Well, oh, you got it in there the one time. Yeah, it does. Shoved it in there. And then Uncle Larry showed up and we decided against it. I, that camera, that camera is there, guys. If we, I can't, now that, oh, now that I'm living here, like, there's nothing I can do. I'm living under his roof. I, I don't want to fuck that up. I don't want to fuck that up, guys. I need to be a good boy. I need to put my smile on like Jeffrey. If Jeffrey can live here for 26, 27 years, I think I can do it for at least another couple and be, you know, reasonable. But thank you for your letter. Uh, that's a couple bucks. I imagine this person wants a bracelet or something. Uh, Dear Jesse, this is Faith. I don't know if you got the letter I sent last week, but if you didn't, please read. I'm going through a very tough time right now, and I really wanted to talk to you about it because I feel like giving up. People are constantly against me, and I can't take it anymore. Can you please send me a text or call? I want to talk to you because no one wants to listen to me. I feel like I don't matter to anyone. Faith, well, I just want you to know... Um, oh, this is I read to myself. Faith, that is never an option. Uh, believe me. Thank you very much. Um, and this is... Is it for a bracelet? Because I know you don't want money, uh, but I want to judge you for life bracelet. Here's my address. I will set this aside, and uh, I'll give that to Uncle Larry next time I see him and make sure he sends one over to you. I know things can get tough at times, Faith, and, uh, and this is to anyone. If, you know, you're, you're growing up and shit's getting pretty bad, people in your life, um, just know there's always at least one person that cares about you and even even if you ever have any thoughts of anything bad and, and you know you might get what i'm saying here just know that it may make you it, it's it's not gonna fix anything if anything it's gonna make things worse because you know the people that do care about you and support you are then going to be literally traumatized by your selfish actions and plus, you know, doing that, it's just never an option. Life isn't that bad. You just have to see it as so. And that's something that Jeffrey just taught me the other night. Just smile. I mean, things aren't so bad. It may feel like your whole world is crashing down, but trust me, things can always be a lot worse. And I hope my videos help you through some tough times and put a smile on your face and, and just know that you're not alone. And you're stronger than you think you are. And we love you here, me and Corn, uh, and my Juggernaut's YouTube channel. Keep it frigid. Dear Vagerians, my name is Colette. I'm a female Juggie. I'm from Louisville, Kentucky. I'm 41 years old. I'm an older Juggie. I hope you don't think I'm old. I don't think you're old. I think anybody can watch me. You know, I don't never want to be ageist. We never want to, you know, discriminate against older ages, younger ages. It's all the same. If you enjoy the videos, we're like a big family. You know, obviously in a family, you're going to have somebody older. It doesn't really matter how old they are. I mean, my grandparents are some of my favorite people. Let's get along better. Hope you don't think I'm old. Uh, I look 41. People say I look like I'm 20 or 25. Well, good for you. I think me and Cornell will have that as well because we're yeah. short as fuck. Um, I love watching your vlogs. I love watching you, Uncle Larry, Corn, and your mom. I also really enjoy the construction vlogs. I really don't like Aunt Melissa. She's a drunk and not a very nice person. Congratulations getting your house. Thank you. I mean, I did have it. I did have it for a period of time, so I'll take your pride in me. I'll take it. 
There's nothing like having your own house. Yeah, it was a pretty awesome feeling. I own my own house. I bought my house when I was 28 years old. Straight out cash on the table. Nice. I was in a huge car wreck when I was 27. My back was fractured and I had internal bleeding in my stomach. My lower back hurts a little bit most of the time. Sometimes, uh, sometimes bad. I see a chiropractor once a month. I work. I just have to watch my back not to lift heavy things or lift things the wrong way. I got the house out of the car wreck settlement. I know you're lonely in your house, just hang out with your friends, play games, or maybe get a pet will help. It's better than being in all that BS you was in at your dad's. Keep it frigid, <laughs> Colette. But we are back in it, but I think I'm going to be a lot better this time around. Um, be Like I was just saying, I just need to be a better son, I think. I just need to listen to my dad more and go with the flow. Keep it frigid, Colette. Thank you. 41-year-old Juggy. That's awesome. I love it. All ages welcome. Oh, girl. From an old show, Invader Zim. I used to watch that. Dear Jesse, my name is Chris, the same Chris who sent you the Pixel Mario. I am 14 years old. Also, it would be cool if I could friend you on the Xbox One. Hope you have some great memories at your new house and maybe become bros with the spirit of ghost. And last time I did, I sent mail. I hope you like the other pixel art. And next time, uh, find out I'm the same Chris, I'll put Godzilla. Thank you. Yes, that's a good way to distinguish yourself. Use gamer tags and stuff because, you know, a lot of people have the same name. Like, there's 50 bajillion Jessies out there. So, Chris, I'll know you by Godzilla, man. Keep it frigid, man. Thanks for the letter. Moving on up. Jesse, could you use this as a profile picture, please? Uh, what? What? As a profile picture. What are you talking about? Um, this is from Nathaniel. Dear Jesse, I do live with my grandparents. It would be awesome if you could come to Pahrump, Nevada. And if so, could you call me? Pahrump is by California. There's my home address. Sorry for the writing. I am writing this in school, and the picture I made is an eagle. I try my best. Call a pastor to come to your house. Uh, and splash some holy water on that shit and the portal will be closed. Tell Jeffrey he's a jerk. When I first started watching you, it was three years ago. I've watched all your videos. I feel bad for you, and your brother tells your dad to smash everything. I'll send, try to send your stuff like combat knives and swords. Um, dude, I actually already have some combat knives and swords. <laughs> I don't need any of those. I, I, I don't think I can, like, triple wield anything. I don't think that's really possible. But thank you for this letter, Nathaniel. Keep it frigid. All I need is that katana, baby. Fuck your day up, you know? You know? Uh, dear Majorians, my name is Christian. I have been subscribed since Eagles Landings. I love your videos. I watch them every day. Please tell Corn I said hi. My YouTube channel is called OMG Lava Storm. I make Call of Duty videos with only 12 subs. Right now I'm watching the Super Bowl, but anyway, I love your videos. I'm 13 from Christian. Christian, well, good luck with your YouTube channel, man. I actually watched the Super Bowl this year. What do you think? Did the right team win? Who you want to win, win? I don't know. Oh, wow. Sick drawing. Uh, this has, the gang's all here. This is all, all sorts of people on this drawing. Very good. Uh, dear Jesse, I came with Jordan. I'm Casey. I'm 20 years old, and yes, I'm a guy. I live in Illinois and watched your videos for two years. I'm sorry about your parents' separation and your dad destroying your things. It's great that you've moved out. I'm happy for you, man. I'll follow you on Twitter. Hopefully one day you come to Illinois to meet me, hang out, and even vlog together. That'd be pretty sick, actually. I'm planning to vlog my life as well. You've inspired me to do start that. My account name will be Casadilla, I think it's called. I drew your car on the back of this letter. Enjoy it. Hope to see you soon. Keep me frigid, man. Thank you, Casey. That'd be cool. Go to Illinois. What's Illinois like? It's like Jersey. Probably like South Jersey. That's my bet. Dear Majernitz, you, my friend, are great. Your vlog, your entire life, and it's interesting. I'm 14. I look forward to your videos every day. I'm a new juggie and only been subscribed for two or three months. I've been entertained beyond belief. I love video games, duh. And I've been playing them for as long as I can remember. Some of my favorite games are Zelda, Majora's Mask, Terraria, Minecraft, Mario 64, Star Fox 64, GoldenEye 007. Dude, it sounds like we have the same great taste in video games. As you can tell, I like N64. But enough about that. What I like is you've been such an inspiration on so many people, and you really make me and other people really feel like they know you really well. I hope for nothing but the best for you and your family, including your dad and your aunt Melissa. I can't spell. From a juggy, Luke. Hey, man. And he, uh, Luke says, hey, if you're there, Corn. Oh, hey, Luke. He's totally here right now. You can't see him, but he's there. He's always watching. Oh, boy, he's watching. That's creepy. Just keep it frigid. Very nice. Did you get yourself one of them hoodies? They're on sale. Definitely purchase one. Link in the description, guys. They're selling hotcakes. I think we've sold around 200 hoodies by far. That that is that is I think our highest selling hoodie. So thank you guys for that. That's awesome. I need to put mine back on. I think I finally watched it. Love you, man. I watch your videos every single day. I've been a subscriber since 320 juggies. Bullsh. Oh wait, just kidding. My name is Nasir. Nasir, I know you, man. I follow you on Twitter. My friends call me Naz. I'm from Dominican Republic and live in Florida. By the way, I think I saw your dad in one of my dad's hotels when I went for vacation. I took a picture and sent it to your Twitter. Just kidding. The first video I saw was when your dad threw your Xbox in the pool. At first I thought it was pretty funny, but I looked at all your videos and realized it was your everyday life. It's my first letter to you, and I'm glad you're moving out. The house looks pretty cool. It doesn't matter what your dad or Aunt Melissa says. I have to ask you something, though. How do you keep your majestic hair flowing like that? <laughs> <laughs> what products do I use? I just use Suave Shampoo. 
and that is not product placement. It's it's just whatever's in the shower. I don't. It's nothing special. I think my hair just starts to flow like this. Personally, it kind of gets in my eyes, but I do like the look of it. Are you gonna make another slogan for the summer? Oh, uh, no, we'll be back to keep it rigid. Keep it rigid kind of has that fiery look. Um, I think I saw you in New York, bro. I screamed saying Jesse, and you, but you put your hand blocking your face and started running faster. I don't know why. Just kidding. Now, Sarah, you're always kidding, man. Um, anyway, you're my second favorite YouTuber. Second? Damn it! Your first is Good Mythical Morning. I can't blame you. Rhett and Link are pretty cool dudes, and that's just through videos. Um, however, have Rhett and Link ever responded to you? How about that engagement with the fans, though? I'm pretty, I'm pretty active, guys. P.S. My YouTube channel is this. I love you to death. Thank you, Nasir. Keep it frigid, man. Great letter. I think I, I, yeah, I still follow you on Twitter, man. That's cool. Hey, Jesse, my name's Travis. I mean, that's cool that people I follow on Twitter still take the time to send me a letter. All right, this person wants a bracelet. And uh, it says, my name is Travis. I'm 11. I live in Spring Hill, Florida. I've been watching your videos for about three months. It's not right that your dad break all your stuff and not give a crap. He stole money because he thinks it's his because he should give it back to pay for all your games that he's broke. I hate your Aunt Melissa, although she is doing is a bad impact on your mom. I should burn the Ouija board. Um, you should have some that one that talk to spirits and ask them to leave. Well, it's not my issue now, man. Travis, uh, we'll set this aside and make sure you get a bracelet. I'll talk to Uncle Larry about that. I wonder if my mom's going to deal with any kind of creepy things going on. I, I don't doubt it. <clears throat> Whew. Jesse, please do not read this on video. Oh, shit. What do you want me to... Wait, what? But you can mention my first name if you like, so I got this. I'm watching videos over the last few months. Um, okay, he's talking about my grandma I'm here. Am I not allowed to read the whole letter? This is from Ashley Lufkin. Oh, wait, was it just supposed to read your first name? Oh, well, we're just reading this. You know what? It's all right, Ashley. Don't worry. Nothing bad will happen to you. I make sure of that. My hearts and prayers go out to your grandmother. I used to be a certified nursing assistant. I know how dementia can steal everything from your memory. I've seen it happen in my own family. It's It's rough. It's it's pretty hard, um, you know, to see her go through that, and then the effect it has on everybody around her. It's just unfortunate. I don't know if your family is religious, but my family is. Um, you would think you she wouldn't remember a word. Actually, I think she does remember some religious verses and things, which is interesting. Uh, thank you for letting us into your life by the YouTube videos. I'm also looking forward to your videos because it makes me forget about all the bad stuff that's happening in my life. It's like an outlet for me. I wish you enjoyed it the best in life. Um, I'm known to write a book out of letters. Oh, well, please continue on making videos. My family loves you, and we'll be praying for all of you. Thank you. Thank you, Ashley, for this. Uh, keep it frigid. I really appreciate the letter. A lot of girl juggies. Guys, coming out of the woodwork. Where you been hiding all, all this time? Dear Jesse, congrats on your new home. Becoming a recent homeowner myself, I know what it feels like to be on your own. It's nice to call a place your own and fill with all your stuff. Also, you can do what you want as well, like play video games in the living room, something I could not do while living with my parents. That's something I'm forbidden to do. I learned that the hard way. I would. God, he's got a, such a fucking big screen TV out in the living room. You'd think you'd be able to play some games on it. It's not gonna cause ghosting or whatever you would fucking say on there. Here's the thing, it'd call la like cause lasting images. Say I left it on the Paul screen, you would see that just linger on the screen when he's like watching football or some shit. Let's get out of here. There are some downsides though, like appliances breaking down, property damage, and paying bills. Well, good thing I uh, avoided all that shit. My furnace broke last winter and last summer a tree fell and damaged my fence. I like your recent powwow about independence and loneliness. I felt the same way when I moved in my home. Thankfully I'm no longer alone as I get married uh, last May to my wife. Oh shit, well congratulations man. Uh, thank you Michael and yeah, really look forward to being able to play the Super Nintendo and have that uh, as my own. Who needs a house when you have a Super Nintendo? Hello Jesse Rageway, I'm a 9 year old Juggy. I've been Juggy ever since 200k. I was that guy on Twitter, Marcus, that tweets to you every day. If I don't ring a bell, that's okay. I'm a Canadian Juggy. Please include me in fan mail. Thanks, man. Keep it frigid. Marcus. What? what? Hey, just say my name's Isaac. I would like to say I'm a big fan of you and your videos. I really like the construction vlogs and the normal vlogs. Even my dad likes your videos. Score! I've been around, so, well, at least somebody's dad likes the videos. I've been around since the starting of Everyday Situations and the classics, and I think you should make the vlogs a little longer. I understand if you can't do that. Uh, it's going to be difficult. I'm... Um, I try to make the longs as, as long as possible to capture more moments for my life. However, uh, you know, at that same time, it's harder to get those up at a decent time. However, I know everybody's across the world and different times need to matter to other people. So, I'm going to do my best, man. Also, please get better Wi-Fi for that new house because the late uploads suck. You don't say. Um, well, now that I'm home now, it should be a lot easier with the high-speed internet. Keep it frigid, man. Isaac, thank you for the letter. Oh, and you got an envelope to send send a letter back. Well, this is my letter to you, my friend. Woo! 
Ooh, got a big one. Uh, we're running lower. Yo, Jesse, what up? My name's Gabriel, living in Miami, Florida. I've been watching your videos since day one, and you're my favorite YouTuber. I feel like we have something in common. Both our moms are loving and caring, but my mom is very fucking annoying. My mom's... My mom's pretty annoying right now. I don't want to talk to her. I can't... I don't know if that's what you mean by annoying, but I, I'm, I'm pretty upset with how things went. But I expressed that in a letter to her that she'll probably never read, but that's okay. We both have a dad relationship with one... Oh, a bad relationship with our dad. Your dad is a psycho and my dad's an asshole. Ah, they're kind of relative, right? Uh, I have a couple questions. How did you come up with the name McJuggernuggets and how long have you and Corn known each other? Uh, I answered the Corn uh, question in a previous letter uh, in this fan mail. And the name McJuggernuggets comes from a video. Watch the video called The Origin of McJuggernuggets. It answers all your questions. By the way, I recently got the rubber band Juggy bracelet. Awesome, man. Good to hear it. Um... If you ever need a personal chef, feel free to hit me up. Dude, I could use it right now with my diverticulosis diet. Uh, never been to Jer New Jersey. Um, I'm sure you got nice warm weather there. I'm kind of jealous. Keep it frigid, man. Thank you for this letter. I really appreciate it, Gabriel. You can uh, fly your ass down here, or up here, and make me some food. I want some grilled chicken, please. Keep it rigid. Let me know how to send you my address. Hey, Jesse, my name's Diego, and ow. Ow, fuck. Ow. Sorry about that, guys. Just fucking sharp shooting pains randomly. I thought I was getting somewhere with the diet thing. Either I'm doing something right and it's pissed off about it, or I'm doing something wrong and it's pissed off about it. Either way, it's pissed off, so whatever. Hey, my name's Diego. I'm 14 years old. I've been watching your videos for a long time, since 2010. You're awesome and very smart, kid. I hope moving out to your aunt's house is a better life. Anyways, uh, I have a YouTube. If you can subscribe, it's called Diego A. It'd be awesome. Um, well, thank you for the letter, Diego. Keep it frigid, man. Great, sounds like my dad just got home. Like, does he even know, like, I get, like, fan mail and shit? Like, this is the thing. Like, you'd think if he saw, like, the amount of letters I receive, he'd be like, oh, wow, like, this is respectful. Mm -hmm. I have no idea. Hey, let's shut up! Hey, Jesse, uh, well, I'm glad you got out of that house. I'm sorry about your parents. Hope your dad gets better with both his injury and anger. Uh, the injury, yeah, he definitely seems to be walking around again. Uh, back to his old ways. You've really showed me that being yourself and doing what you love pays off in the end. You never let the harsh words people say to you make the decision to keep going or quit. I'm older than you are and have a degree, but not in the field I want to be in. I love music. I sing and play a little, but my degree is in the computer field. Don't get me wrong. I like building computers and networks, but it's not something I want to do every day. I'm so happy for you on your move. Congrats. I miss your online streams. Well, hopefully, hey man, or Amy, Amy, thank you for this letter. Hopefully I get back to it. And, uh, I mean, that, that was a struggle, right? You know? Do you get your degree in something that you can think you can get a job in, or do you follow your passion? Really, I mean, it's funny, my degree is completely irrelevant now that I do YouTube videos. However, I think it could have been valuable had I gotten, you know, a different kind of degree, just in case, you know? You know, if things didn't work out and you guys didn't find me, it could have been a completely different result. Um, but thank you, Amy. Hopefully, some live stream soon. I mean, not hopefully. There will be. Just keep it frigid and the letter to go with. That was weird, the sharp pains, guys. I'm concerned for my safety. Jerry Jesse, hi, how are you? I've always thought your dad was crazy, but I've always liked your mom until she moved in with Aunt Bitch. I'm <laughs> so blunt. I'm 12 years old and I live with my grandparents. My mom's in jail and my dad is married to a psycho bitch. I would live with my dad if she didn't beat me when I was younger. I hope you get your money back and tell Corn and Larry I said hey. From Ryan, I believe it's pronounced. Keep it free to have a great day as well. Thank you for that. I'm sorry to hear about your parents' situation. That shit's never fun. But uh, hopefully, you know, you're in a place uh, where people love and support you and all's well. It says, but if I ate nothing, they'd punish me anyway. As you can imagine, on top of being sick, weak, and in constant pain, I was bored, I was lonely, and I was depressed. But through it all, I'd pick up my phone and watch my good old pal, McJuggernuggets, and Uncle Larry and Pickle Boy and Angry Grandpa. I laughed and cried and enjoyed the silliness and pranks and delicious looking food, wishing I had smell -o vision I felt the lightheartedness and heartbreak right along with y'all every step of the way. Y'all became my companions and quite literally my reason for waking up. I'd roll over in bed and immediately check to see if there was an upload or watch old content while I waited. But sure enough, without fail, there would be a new daily update. Your content became something I could count on and look forward to. I built a routine around it and began to get stronger. Somewhere along the way, I found my smile again, thanks to you and the other guys. So you see, Jesse, I'm not just a juggie. I don't simply like your videos and you're not and you're positive even in the face of adversity attitude. It's more like I owe a big chunk of my health and happiness to you. Your Uncle Larry and I talk a lot. Read the next part to yourself. Got you. Uh, I hope to get up there for his epic party when it happens. Hopefully when it does, I'll get to meet you and shake your hand for what you've done for me. 
I really don't know how else to thank you other than to let you know that you basically helped Ella shut up! How dare she interrupt this great letter. I really don't know how else to thank you other than to let you know that you basically helped save my life with your content and hard work. What you do has really meant the world to me. What you do matters. Please don't anyone make you believe otherwise for one damn second. Thanks again, little brother nuggets, really. Sorry for the length, but I thought you might want to hear the whole story. Now you know. With love and appreciate, appreciation, Heather. I just read your PS. That would be cool. Heather, thank you for this letter. It means more than you know. Um, it's very rare that we get something as well-worded and heartfelt uh, quite like this. And uh, that helps. That helps a lot. Helps reaffirm everything we do because, you know, we, me and Corin, are just kind of, we're just sitting here right now in this room opening fan mail. And it doesn't, it doesn't resonate because we don't get to see you guys at all. We don't get to see reactions or anything. So it helps us keep us going to hear things like that. Uh, we have some money for a bracelet and an address. I'll set this aside. Heather, that's amazing. I'm glad we've been able to help you through tough times, and that goes to anyone. And uh, it, I don't think there's it, it matters. You know, it's like when you go into like a group therapy session, everybody's airing their problems. I think me airing my problems helps other people deal with theirs. I think it's really valuable. Thank you for that letter. Seriously, keep it frigid. Dear Jesse and Larry, my name is Quentin Yanez, and this is the first time I've ever written to anybody or sent fan mail. I love your videos and keep them coming. I'm 14 years old from Detroit, Michigan, and a filmmaker. I've worked on two feature film sets, including It Follows. I've always loved filmmaking and entered a hashtag triple M9, and my video was summer 1997. I didn't win, but I hope you liked it. In closing this envelope, I've sent a copy of my current short film script, which I'm currently filming. I've tried to raise the funds for it on GoFundMe, but I haven't gotten any donations. Along with the script, I left my card, hoping one day to work with you on a cool sketch or video. If you would like, uh, please shout out and maybe share my campaign. Uh, it's called Never Hidden Film uh, by Quentin Yanez. Thank you for this, and he wants a bracelet. You got it, man. Keep following that dream, man, and never give up. Keep it frigid. And a final letter. Um, oh, I think this went with yours or maybe somebody else. If not, I'll set this aside for this letter. This is the final letter, and this is... Actually, no. I think it's two different ones. Here we go. Dear Jesse, my name is Patrick, and I live in Chicago. Sorry about my handwriting. We get sloppy at the end. I've been watching you since 2014 for two years now. Subscribe a month or two after that. I don't really care if your videos are real or not. You're my favorite YouTuber. I'm 14, almost 15. Love your video games. I love video games like Last of Us, COD, Sniper Elite, Ratchet and Clank. No Halo. I'm not. I'm a PlayStation fanboy. All good, man. To each their own. I like your vlogs long, and you should keep them at that length. I know you get a lot of requests to get a bracelet. My mom doesn't like me to shop on sites. Other than this, um, all right, I'll try and set this aside. I don't see your address though, man. Shit! Shit, I don't see your address. I don't know how I can get this to you. Um, I don't know. Uh, maybe I'll try and track you down on Twitter or something. Uh, or send me another letter with uh, your address included. Um, sorry about that, man. Um, but guys, stop doing that. I, I know you're going to need bracelets. Uh, you want bracelets. Just really try and talk to your parents. I mean, it's not that bad. Ordering stuff online is completely safe. And I, I prefer it to shopping in real life. Um, this looks like to be a song by... Oh, I just got Rickrolled via a letter. God damn it. <laughs> you got me. All right, Jays. Thank you guys so much for an amazing fan mail. Once again, there is a lot I didn't get to. Whatever I didn't get to, I will say for this upcoming Monday um, because, you know, I'm only going to have three days worth of fan mail for that. So I'm going to kind of push this onto that as well. Um, guys, don't send me valuables. I appreciate these, but you can't send me these things. I don't want them. I don't need them. Just, just please send me heartfelt things, letters, uh, drawings, things like that. Those matter more than these objects. Uh, but don't forget to subscribe for our content. Twitch game links in the description. Also, gonna send me money. These things. Um, yeah, well, I'll probably shoot a vlog later today. Um, maybe tonight I'll do my streaming schedule announcement, and we can maybe have a first stream this weekend. I'm really excited to get going for that. Um, also, we got keep your fridge hoodies in the shop. Definitely uh, check those out. They're pretty good, especially um, in the winter season. If you guys don't have winter, well, maybe you can wear it in your cold basement or something, or the AC's cranked up high. All right, Jays, love you all to death. Thanks for everything, and don't forget to keep it frigid.